The function f of x equals tangent of x is defined in such a way that inverse of f of x is a function. What can be the domain of f of x? Okay, so let's talk about the tangent and the inverse of the tangent. We know what the tangent is, right? But what is inverse tangent? So f of negative 1 of x is the inverse of the tangent. So if you're thinking about cotangent, that's 1 over the tangent. That's the inverse, like the reciprocal, like turning a fraction upside down. That's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about an inverse in terms of a function. So the inverse of the tangent of x is sometimes written like this. Tan negative 1 of x. All right, so that's one way you could write it. And this is also called the arctan. So either one of these is okay, arctan of x. But what it basically means is that we're switching the domain in the range. So instead of putting the domain in, x values go in, and getting the range out, we're putting the range in and getting the domain out. So it's sort of a, a reversal of what you would normally think about. So let's now try to draw what the tangent normally looks like. So we have, whoa. We have a regular graph and the tangent, and you can put this in your calculator too, but it's good to remember if you can that the tangent has this general shape. It kind of comes down, it goes through zero, zero, and then it comes down like that. Okay, and then it has an asymptote. So these lines I'm drawing are not on the graph. These are, are uh, asymptote lines where the graph of the tangent approaches these lines but doesn't ever get there. And these asymptotes are located at negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. So if you didn't know this, you know now. Um, but you can put this in your calculator and you'll get the same graph. But what's interesting about the tangent is that it doesn't only exist between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. It repeats. So I could draw more asymptote lines both in the positive direction. I could do this every um, 180 degrees. I could draw another asymptote line and another tangent function, which means there'd be another tangent function right here. And it's not perfectly symmetrical, though imagine that it was. And another tangent function right here. And I could keep drawing them over and over and over again. And uh, that means that we can so what is the domain of x? Uh, the domain of the tangent. The domain of the tangent, we can put in any value along the x-axis that we want, except for the ones where there's asymptotes. So we couldn't put in negative pi over 2 or pi over 2, but we could put in numbers that are less than that, numbers that are greater than that, everything up to pi over 2. We can't put that in, and then we could put more values in. And then eventually we can't put in 3 pi over 2, but then we could put more values after that. So the domain is... Um, is everything except values that are divisible by pi over 2. So if you want to do it for just one iteration, just one time, we want to have the tangent, then typically we would use negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. So that's how we'll define it, negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. 2 is less than x is less than pi over 2 that's the domain if we only want to have the tangent one time. That's not the whole domain, that's the domain for one iteration. And then what's the range? Well the range of values that you could get out, it, this is asymptotic in the negative direction on both and positive in the, as, as uh, values of x get greater, it's um, infinitely large as it approaches that asymptote. So it's all real numbers. It's everything in the negative direction and that's the range. So what does this mean for the arctan or the inverse tan. Well, what this means is that if we want to draw the arctan, that it's going to have the same situation where it's going to iterate many, many times, and it's going to have this general shape. If I can draw this. So it looks just like the tangent, except that it's been turned to, to the side, sort of. 
and it's going to repeat just like the tangent except that it's going to repeat vertically so if I were to draw more arctans they'd be above and below this one and the difference with the arctan and the tan is that the tangent is a function you can plug in any value of x that's in the domain even if you have this repeating case and they'll all pass the vertical line test there'll never be more than one value of, of y for the same x so it's always a function but the arctan because they repeat vertically as soon as I draw another arctan next to this one it'll fail the vertical line test it'll cease to be a function so in order to make sure that it is a function or as this problem states oh, this should be such by the way in order for it to be defined in such a way that the inverse of f of x in other words this the arctan is a function we have to make sure that we limit it to only one only one time and that means that it must be in this range how do we limit it to that range well we make sure that the domain of the original function was limited to only go from here to here and we did that it was negative pi over 2 less than x less than pi over 2 and that matches up with choice 3 so just to close this out the domain here is as we stated the range is all real numbers for the arctan so this was the tan for the arctan the range is from negative pi over 2 down here to pi over 2 but the domain is from negative infinity to infinity it's all real numbers